Hey, what is up guys? This is Aaron and today in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Nexus 5 which is Android 4.4 KitKat launcher on your Android devices. So, Google LG Nexus 5 has launched with Android 4.4 KitKat and the, UI, the whole UI has changed including the transparency status bar and the transparency navigation bar but um, I'm still on Android 4.3 Jellybean on my Nexus 4 we still haven't received an update yet but soon okay so I installed the Nexus 5 launcher um, which is Android 4.4 KitKat launcher so it's very easy to install so what you need to do is just click the link at the description it brings you to droidlife.com here is some Nexus 5 dark system dump and scroll it down you will see some downloads and to install the launcher you need to download the Google Play service Google search and Google home here is some other uh, Android 4.4 KitKat apps such as the calendar clock email and gallery so if you just want to install the launcher you will need the Google Play music Google search and Google home so now copy all the files to your phone or SD card so I already have it copied to my Nexus 4 so once you have done open your file manager and you go to locate your APKs such like the Google Home install it I already have it um, the Google Play service install it as well as well as the Google search okay once you have done press the home button and uh, choose your Google launcher okay it looks something like this swipe to the right uh, excuse me swipe to the left swipe to the left to enable the Google now just like this okay see it's so nice swipe to the right to back to home screen so in the home screen you can say okay Google to enable the Google now so you can ask something like this okay Google what's the weather It falls close on my Nexus 4, but by the way, it works pretty well with the launcher. Let me show you the wallpapers. We have that. We have Nexus 5 wallpaper, the stock wallpaper. So, yeah, to add the widgets, you will need to long press the home screen widget. Choose your widgets, hold it down and you can add some you can add more pages you can remove it app drawer the icon is uh, bigger than the original one but it looks quite nice actually transition same as the old one sorry guys I couldn't try on my Galaxy Ace it's because my SD card has some reading problem even though I have inserted it see I inserted it but it just do nothing so yeah th that's the reason why I couldn't change any ROM without the SD card okay I think that's it guys hope you like this video please hit the like button comment down below if you have a problem so I will see you in my next video goodbye